Hey y'all, good morning. I am leaving for work and I almost forgot my camera and that would have been tragic. So, came back and got it <laughs> because I know you guys wanna follow along. I'm actually gonna start editing today. That's on my calendar. I've got a couple meetings and I'll show you what I'm wearing. So I'm normally trying not to wear shoes in the bedroom, but I'm wearing my little cheetah print. I think this is cheetah, leopard, I don't know. Who knows, I'm wearing an animal print, a sweater, Cardi from uh, good old Old Navy, some black jeans and some black booties. So that's, that's the look for today. Also, I'm carrying 12 bags with me. I do normally carry my laptop every single day as well as a book bag or a tote bag, if you will, full of just files that I'm working on and things like that. Right now I've got a couple committees that I'm on and a couple projects that I'm working on. So I've got those in there. Plus I have all that pile, those piles of paperwork that I needed to sort through to make sure I'm not missing anything. So anyway, I'm sorting through those and getting those ready for, um, to either be filed or shredded or trashed or whatever needs to happen with them and think to myself, why do I even have this piece of paper? I don't know. My eyes are watering and my mom came by today and she's like, why do you look like you're about to cry? I don't know, mom. So, um, my mom's not feeling well though, actually. Well, let's go ahead and get out into the garage. Hold on a moment. I just have this thing. I always try to make sure I know where the cats are before I leave. So I didn't lock them inadvertently in some space that they don't need to be in. There's Captain though. He's living his best life looking outside, I'll show you. So, I should kinda close the door because the cat box is in there and I don't like the cat box to smell up the entire house. Socks, I'm not as worried about because, well I better check. Cause what if he's stuck somewhere and he's tearing up carpet or something? <sighs> I gotta find him. Look at those bags. All right, y'all, I'm getting a little bit slower start to my morning than I prefer, to be honest. I had to pluck my phone in because I already set the alarm. I'm good there. Don't have to worry about that. We're going to have the bump. Sorry, still don't have the professional equipment. <gasps> Somebody's calling. Okay. Hello? Hey, this is Carol. Are we going to make a deal? <laughs> I am checking with my client. I'm in on them because every time I come to the store, I keep forgetting to get them dry cat food. So that's what we're gonna do right now. There are so many different kinds of cat food that you can get, but you're supposed to get kitten food. Normally I get Purina kitten, but then I mix it with like the Purina one kitten. And fortunately for me, they don't have either so <laughs> awesome I mean they do have this signature brand but honestly I'm gonna have to go to PetSmart now I got to the list of things that I didn't have time to do today so <laughs> mm -mm, here we go okay I don't I don't see and this is just like staring me right in the face and I don't see it where is the kitten food oh well I'll go to PetSmart <laughs> I'm crying about it no I'm not really it's just my eyes water all the time. I try really hard not to touch them, but that's not true. I touch them all day long. <laughs> so how's YouTube treating um, Say hi to YouTube. Hey. So I was G ask you about that. Yeah. How's YouTube treating it? Um, I haven't uploaded and edited lately, but I'm still vlogging every day, so I have content waiting to happen. But Gio's making my um, hot chocolate today. And Gio has a YouTube channel as well. Yeah. So you should probably go follow him. And I'll put a link in my description box below when I upload this video. So his content's a little bit different than mine, but still fun. And why do you tap it like that? Uh, supposedly we're supposed to tap it so it could like settle a little bit. It was like going at the top. So when we tap it, it just like settles in and then we like, we're supposed to move it around so it could like settle in more. So you don't just get like a bunch of foam whenever you pour it into the drink. Like like the foam like settles into the milk, so it makes it like more creamier kind of milk. 
Starbucks. What temperature is that at? It's at uh, 140? 150? Why? Just curious. I don't know. Let me see. Then he's putting on whipped cream. You like working at Starbucks? Yeah. It's interesting. You meet interesting people. Sometimes it gets hectic, but I feel like the people make up for it. Good. So Gio's my favorite barista. There we go. Fancy white oh, fancy white mocha. Fancy hot chocolate barista. <laughs> hey guys, I am trying a white mocha for the first time, so this is the first time. Ooh, it's hot. I get what you're saying. It tastes very, very creamy. Still like hot chocolate better. Sorry. But the white mocha is pretty good too. It's April in Texas, so that means there's definitely lawn mowing going on. Lawn crews are starting to get out, and my sweater keeps getting in the way of my belt buckle my, my belt my belt buckle no my seat belt buckle thing so geo who you just saw is also a youtuber and he said he just uploaded a video what i missed it so when i get caught up on life if that if and when that ever happens then i guess i will watch his video but he let me try white mocha, but not, he just did a white hot chocolate instead of a dark hot chocolate. Uh, Cause I was like, oh, I'm trying a white mocha. I'm like, so like trendy, but I'm not. It didn't even have coffee in it, which is fine because I don't like coffee. All right, so now I'm gonna have to put you down because I'm driving and I gotta pay attention. Okay, here's the deal. I'm at work now, so I can talk, whoa. I can talk more, but I can also hit you in the head. So, um, while I was there, okay, that's as good as it gets. So while I was there, Gio says, um, so what, what's your YouTube channel name? Brother, <laughs> brother, I thought you're already part of the Grey House family. So now I have another subscriber. I mean, if he bothers to, if it's not too much trouble for you, Gio, if you could click that subscribe button, click the bell for notifications. <laughs> I mean, you know, if it's not too much trouble for you, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> look, I look like I'm crying again. I am running late to the first of two meetings today. I'm supposed to be here at 12, it's 12.15. I'm just gonna be walking in. But better late than never. It's for the Economic Vitality Committee the downtown advisory board stuff so anyway let's get going meeting is done and then forgot to bring my lunch from home so i thought oh, i'll just stop by taco casa really quick and pick up a taco because it is tuesday taco tuesday what and they had a line out i mean like just wrapped around so i was like okay i'll go in because i have to go to the restroom anyway i went in and somebody was in one of the stalls looking like they'd like unpack their closet they were gonna stay a while oh i'm gonna drop stuff hang on look like they were gonna stay a while and so i'm like <laughs> and then this lady i don't know if she just came out of the restroom but flush next time okay that's all i'm saying i ain't trying to be rude and i ain't trying to be gross i'm just trying to say flush thanks so that was not flush, so I go to flush it. Oh my god, you know, because that grosses me out anyway. And then the stupid thing would not stop flushing. Like it just kept on and I thought. <laughs> okay, I get your point. I'll just go to the restroom at work. Whatever. Goodbye. So yeah, I left. I mean I got my food, obviously. And then I'm coming to work. And I'm gonna go to the restroom here and I'm gonna get my lunch in my belly and I'm gonna get some other stuff done and it's gonna be awesome. So yeah, I've got a conference call in like 35 minutes. So I gotta get ready for that. I am home and Marvin is out in the garage and he is working, he's tinkering. 
This is a bookcase that I've had since I was probably, I don't know, 15, 16, something like that. And Marvin's gonna paint it for me so I can go in my office and I'm lucky that Marvin is so handy. But this decorative gold paint was actually put on by my dad. My dad painted this. So Marvin's going to paint all the inside, refresh it, make it look nice for inside the office. Because as you can see, it's got some loving use out of it. And it's not like an expensive thing. That's just, what is this, plywood? Yeah. or something it's not like expensive but he's gonna fix it up for me and he's gonna make it nice again so so while he starts on that and for just a few more minutes i'm gonna go inside i'm gonna heat up supper we had tomato feta chicken last night and we're having that for dinner again tonight i'm gonna heat that up get to work organizing some other things that i have going on and get the house in order we have been in the house almost a month and we still have like boxes and that's actually the mirror that goes in the guest bathroom we've yet to put it up because ordinarily our builder would have put that up but we moved in and we're like we can't wait we want to move in i've got this great new fridge but i actually took out one of the shelves there was like another shelf here and i just took it out because i'm like i need i need it spaced differently and of course it's different from the fridge that i've had for the past i guess 10 years so you know when you're doing like organizing stuff and putting things away and it's like this is great and it's almost like what i had but it's not quite so there are some things where i'm like i don't know where i'm going to put this and like I showed my mom this morning, so I have some of my spices and such here, but there's like nothing on those two shelves because I can't reach it. And here we are in my office area and like this, that used to be my entryway table in my old house and I just don't, I don't have the space for it. I don't really have a need for it. I might use it as my desk for now, but it's kind of either wanting my dad to build me another desk and I have like the Pottery Barn Teen thing. I think I've already told you this Pottery Barn Teen like idea that I want him to replicate or I saw a desk through Quality Furniture, which is where we've gotten almost all of our furniture. They, um, and they sell like Ashley Element Furniture and stuff like that and Coastal Living and other, anyway, they sell, they sell like good brands, but I was gonna just have them order me one because there's like one in there for $1.99, which is not bad. And I don't know if my dad could make me a desk for less. I'm gonna call him and ask him if he can make it for less and I'll have him make it because plus my dad made the desk, right? But if not, then um, I think I'll just order the desk, I guess. But um, there's stuff in here that we wanna put up for a yard sale and I'll put, I'll put that out. I'm almost positive I'm putting that out because I have another bench situation and I don't, I don't have room for it. I don't have a need to put it somewhere and I don't want to put furniture places just to put furniture because we're trying to minimize. Uh, and in our other house, it fit differently. In this house, I don't have space for that entryway table to fit right in there because it's much narrower. And so when somebody walks in, I don't want them to feel like they're gonna bump into the table where they kind of have to go walk around uh, to get the table. I definitely wanted to keep this one though. And um, but this one has like drawers in the front. So I kind of have to make sure it's somewhere where you can access the drawers. Uh, I could put it behind this this table over here. I mean this uh, love seat, but I don't know. So I was thinking about putting that other entryway table behind there to make it kind of like a sofa table, but I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. That's why I haven't totally like gotten rid of it. But that's just like another thing. And then the other bench thing. I can't remember if we have it here. If we have it in the storage unit. Oh, that wasn't as firm as I thought it was. It's like ugh, falling. 
so yeah that's that's what's happening right now and i told marvin stuff was going to be ready in five minutes because it's really going to be ready in like 10 and he'll probably be ready to eat in like 15. <laughs> that's just how he is but <sighs> so yeah that's what i'm doing today mail has started to forward from the other place which is great but they don't have um like some stuff got forwarded that shouldn't be forwarded, but whatever. I am just gonna concentrate on really cleaning up stuff because in two weeks, my oldest daughter, Anna, the oldest triplet, Anna, is gonna be here for a visit. And I have the guest room ready. The guest room's ready to rock and roll, kind of, but I have stuff in here. I have decor all in here. See, like this? was right here but i wanted to keep this because my dad made it i guess i could put that bookcase over there in that corner but again i'm not trying to just fill space with furniture i don't have to put something there you know i don't know why i'm talking with my hands like that but i don't have to put furniture places i'm just trying to think like does it make sense for me to keep it am i going to need it in the future i don't i don't really need something next to the bed right there i just like if they want to put their, I don't know what people put on nightstands. I know I put on nightstands, but I live here. So, okay guys. Yeah, I don't let the cats in the guest bedroom too much because Joseph is coming, Joseph and Cat. Cat's coming, that's the baby triplet. And her boyfriend Joseph is coming and he's gonna sleep in the bedroom and she's gonna sleep probably in my office on a air mattress. But the, um, He's allergic to cats. I'm like, oh, well we have two and they're not gonna go anywhere. And so anyway, hopefully he's not like that too allergic to them, but I don't let them in the room really much at all anyway. So I'll just have them keep them out and I'll make sure I vacuum and such like before they come. But uh, they're not coming until May. They're coming like three weeks after Anna and Christian come. So, and that should be it for the visitors for a little while. But I gotta get stuff put away because I told everybody we're gonna have an open house and I'm not even sure how I'm gonna do that, but I think I'm gonna do like a cookies and cupcake type thing. Like where I just have a bunch of cookies and a bunch of cupcakes, like hopefully homemade stuff and or one of the local bakeries <laughs> help me out and supply some of them, you know, kind of like, hey because um, we have a lot, a ton of people that we want to invite. And of course, not everybody's going to come, but uh, yeah, there's a ton of people that we want to invite over for that. So anyway, I'm done rambling for now. Tonight, I'm going to post for Wing Moms tomorrow and the next day. And tomorrow, the ring doorbell comes in, so that'll be awesome. They're going to mount the uh, TV in the guest bedroom, so when our guests come over, they'll have that at their disposal at, for their pleasure, viewing pleasure. And I'm gonna concentrate on getting the stuff that's already in the house put away so I can bring more boxes home. So anyway, that's what I'm gonna do. So I am gonna end the vlog here. Don't forget, be kind. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.